Push for DC statehood continues this morning as lawmakers are set to announce yet another statehood bill in the Senate, but the prospects are not looking great this term. Evan Kozlov joining us now from the Capitol with more on this. So Evan, are they serious this time or is this just a waste of time? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she, she did concede that it's a difficult time to try and pass a bill like this. Democrats just lost the majority in the House and they're well short of the 60 votes needed to pass a bill in the Senate. So I asked her about those slim chances and whether she really thinks this bill has any chance of passing. Why push statehood right now, you know, when you don't have the House and you likely don't have the 60 votes in the Senate? What, why continue to push for it, though? The only way to get a difficult bill passed is to make headway each year. For example, by introducing the bill in the Senate, we're going to, I predict, get more Senate co-sponsors. When you have a difficult bill, you can't just relax until you get the full 60 votes. You keep building your support. The bill is set to be introduced at a press conference this morning by Senator Tom Carper of Delaware. And as always, the filibuster remains the biggest obstacle. That 60 vote threshold means that Democrats would need to get nine Republicans on board. Do you think that will be possible to pass in the Senate without getting rid of the filibuster? Without getting rid of the filibuster, it's, it's very hard for anything to pass. Uh, but I think D.C. statehood has as good a chance as any bill to get those 60 votes. So that press conference is going to be at 1030 this morning. That's kicking off the process on the Senate side. Meanwhile, over on the House side, she's already introduced a statehood bill where the chances are slim with a Republican majority. Coming up at 630, she told us what she's telling her Republican colleagues to try to get them to come on board with this bill. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9.